All right, remember we found angle C. We stored it in our calculator as C, and now we're going to find this diagonal. Let's go ahead and just use the next letter of the alphabet here. We haven't used, we're going to call it B. And it's in a triangle that's not a right triangle. It's directly opposite this angle that we know, angle C. And this is a side angle side arrangement. That's the law of cosines. And to use the law of cosines, the B is directly across from this angle that we know C. So those are going to be opposite sides of the equation. So we'll start with B squared equals, now the rest of it kind of looks like Pythagorean theorem, 363.36 squared plus 169.96 squared minus two times those same two sides, 363.36. And you can see how you would not want to have to write this down every time because you're, you're going to have to write down these long stupid numbers each time. So instead, just understand how you're supposed to put this in the calculator. 169.96 times the cosine of C, which I have stored in my calculator. After I put all this in the calculator, I'll have to take the square root of that so we can get B. Okay. So in the calculator, 363.36 36 squared. Ah, oh, you kidding me? No decimal, please. Plus 169.96 squared minus 2 times 363.6. Times one sixty nine point nine six. And notice even up here I miswrote it. Yeah. Times the cosine of C, alpha C. Right, that's not a number I want. I want to take the square root of that. So second square root of second answer. Not second negative sign. There we go. And this is the correct number. I don't write that down anywhere. Instead, I'm going to store this in my calculator as B. So store alpha B. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the two angles that make up this large right angle, B. We'll call this first one a D, just because it's the next letter we haven't used. So notice that this one is directly across from this side, 169.96, and this B that we already found is directly across from angle C. This we can use the law of sines for. Since we're trying to find this angle, angle D, we're going to put that on top, sine of D over 169.96 equals sine of C over B. All that's in the calculator. Now we just have to multiply this 169.96 up to the top and in order to find D instead of the sine of D we'll have to take the inverse sine. Okay, so 169.96 times the sine of C. Close those parentheses before you hit divide. Alpha B. Hit enter. It's 0.4 up. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the inverse sine of that number. And this is the angle measurement. Let's go ahead and store that in the calculator as D. And then I will see you in the next video.